We book a flight to Norway. We arrive in Norway. We dig a hole in the ground and lie face down in the hole. We lie next to each other in the hole. We hold hands through habit, our fingers interlock. I am enjoying my trip to Norway. I say to you, but really to the soil, because I am facing the soil inside a hole. A worm tries to burrow into my face. All it finds is cold, irritated human skin. A football field of blotches. You fancy the football museum, you say. The cafe sells ice cream floats and the view of the fjords is amazing. There's a big window, you say and it is signed in marker pen by all the famous people who have been there. Why would they sign a window, I think? There's no correlation. I say nothing, I feel your hand tense. I'm not sure if the soil is cold from cold or cold from wet. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about Norway. It was either here or Switzerland. In Switzerland, the hotel had building works and we can't abide sound. The east of the building had subsidence, they said over the phone. I thought of their hotel with subsidence. I thought of your grandmother and the way her stroke made her face droop on one side. She was otherwise able-bodied, but we brought her meals for months, driving in the rain, arguing, showering her with false smiles when we got there. We decided on Norway. You took down the photo of me when I had hair and put its drawing pin into a map of Europe. Norway, you said. You sounded satisfied. The pin was in Sweden, but I didn't change it. And now we are face down in a hole, holding hands and thinking about what to do. We are not the kind of people who stick pins into maps, the kind of people with big plans, who save for stuff, the kind of people that take years out when they are young and have breakdowns when they are old. We are not that kind of people. The football museum's too far, I say, and anyway, you don't like football there must be some galleries. What do you mean there must be some galleries, you say? You tell me I should have looked on the internet, I should have done research. I am not that kind of person. You're full of shoulds. I think I have dirt in my eye. I dry blink until my eyelid smarts. There must be some galleries, I say, and museums about other things. How far are they, you say? How would I know, I think? You're the one with the map. We thought the hole would be darker, more cosy, almost serene. It is just a hole. We dug it at the junction of two dirt roads, both lined with blossom, and behind the houses, behind the trees, small houses with cherry stained decking. We looked inside the windows and we saw cuckoo clocks and tables laid out for afternoon tea. 
intricate teapots, ornate spoons. The junction itself is full of nettles. Someone has dumped broken tarmac around the junction to fatten it into a rough circle, a turning point. Car tyres have bedded some of the rubble. The ground is uneven but functional. I imagine taking afternoon tea on this junction. I stick my tongue into the soil push a notch into the ground. The bitter soil will sustain me. It is full of nutrients. I feel the phosphorus pulsing through my veins like a magic potion. I am suddenly aware of the muscles beneath my flabby skin. I feel strong almost invincible. I wonder what I am doing here with you. The galleries are not far, I say. My voice sounds impeded and sarcastic. I want to visit a castle, you say. I want to see the wooden ships, you say. I suspect you are just listing things. Botanical gardens, the ironworks. It was on, it was the night on the plane to Norway. I looked at my reflection in the window, my brow, my nose, my chin, catching the soft light of the cabin, and the rest of my skin in unwrinkled darkness. On the plane to Norway, I thought about the photograph, the one when I had hair, the one you took down to stick the pin into the map. I stood amid the border plants and you kept shaking the camera. You giggled the way you giggled at everything back then. We had just bought our first house, our lives felt ornate and interesting. And now we are face down in a hole. Our flesh is irritated and cold. And you want to visit a football museum. I think about the turning point and the uneven ground and our hole and the cars that flattened the rubble. And I wonder if I should be here. I fear I may catch something. Weeds may bind us to the ground. I think about a mole tunneling up through the soil. It nudges my hip with its nose. It burrows into my body. It hollows out my stomach until it breaks through wet and red on the other side. My eyes well up at the thought of us, but really, it's at the soil, because I'm facing the soil inside a hole. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about Norway. Thank you.